Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, during our recess, I had the opportunity to attend Oakland Heights Baptist Church in beautiful Carter, Georgia, as they celebrated a very special occasion. While Oakland Heights is a prominent church in our community, it would not be considered a large church in most metropolitan areas. The congregation consists of mostly average, hardworking Americans who love God and their families and are eager to help a neighbor in time of need. Throughout the years, the church has been a beacon of hope to those seeking truth and a haven to those seeking help. As a body of Christian believers, Oakland Heights also believes that it has a responsibility to not only serve our community, but to be an example. Three years ago, the pastor and the congregation of Oakland Heights determined their responsibilities to God and the community included being good stewards. Although they were burdened with over a million dollars of debt, they had a vision of being debt free. They determined to pay off their debt within three years without affecting their core ministries to the congregation or the community. It wasn't easy. It took sacrifice, but with determination, they stuck to their plan, lived within their means, and in less than three years made the final payment on their bank note. During the time they were eliminating the debt, the church gave over a half a million dollars to local ministries, charities, and world missions. In less than 36 months, this relatively small congregation took on a mountain, a mountain of debt. And at the end of last week's service, after hearing a sermon about moving mountains, the congregation celebrated as they burned their banknote. Today, I congratulate Pastor Joe McCaig and the congregation of Oakland Heights Baptist Church for achieving this significant goal and for being an example of fiscal responsibility. Mr. Speaker, if a church with a modest congregation in an average community can pay off an overwhelming debt, I believe the most powerful and influential nation on the earth should be able to pay off its overwhelming debt. But just as with this church, it starts with a vision followed by a plan and a determination to achieve the goal. Mr. Speaker, I have a vision, a vision of a debt-free America, with the goal, a sound fiscal plan that includes living within our means while providing the constitutional services of our government, we can achieve a debt-free nation. We owe it to our children to one day, one day soon, write the final check to our creditors and burn America's banknote to the world. Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time.